Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to go over the LPL summer placements, players of, I guess, the split. Um, each group, I have a player, you know, for each role. So um, the stats we used, KDA, assist count as half, CS per minute, kill participation, return on investment, damage divided by gold, vision efficiency, uh, wards placed, um, sorry, vision score divided by wards placed. Solo kills, and in the case of the bot lane, 2v2s, 2v2 kills, and gold difference and CS difference at the time the first turret falls. So, in top lane in Group A, Sheer led the way. He played the majority of the games for JDG, so he's the one I'm using. First in KDA, out of all top laners at 4.2. Kill participation, 72.1%. Vision efficiency, 3.57. And ahead, 1,057 gold on average. Sheer has come to play. Second in CS difference, ahead 14. In Group B, Bin was the best. First in CS per minute from for everybody at 8.2. CS uh, difference up 15. Second in vision efficiency, 3.44. Solo kills had 7. Gold difference, 600. He would rank first out of everybody cumulatively. Sheer was second in that uh, cumulative score. Uh, in group C was 369, second in KDA 3.8, and kill participation 67%, so two out of every three kills. Third in return on investment 1.47, so 1.47 damage per gold. He ranked fourth. And Chanji uh, was third in KDA 2.8, had six solo kills, and gold difference had 472. He ranked third. Other notables return on investment, Harry. Had the most at 1.61 for OMG. And solo kills Ale for anyone's legend had 10. In the jungle role, Kanavi was the best in group A. Second in KDA, 4.3. CS per minute, 7.9. Third in return on investment, 1.52. Vision efficiency, 5.18. Gold difference, 269 ahead and 9 CS ahead. He ranked um, first overall. In Group B, Meteor was the star. Going first in CS per minute with 8 and up 18 CS on average. Second in KP at just under 83%. Cumulatively, he was second best um, amongst junglers. Tian. Uh, I don't know why I have it this way, and I'll, I'll mention it in a second. So Tian um, in Group C was the best. First in KDA, 5.2. Gold difference up 369 Second in CS difference, up 17. He ranked 5th overall. Group D, Krako. He had the most solo kills for anyone's legend. He had 8. And 3rd in KDA, 3.3. Other notable, Shun, technically, cumulatively, 3rd best jungler. But, lower than Meteor, so he's not mentioned. Um, other notables, kill participation, return on investment. Beshwan was 1st in both from Thunder Talk. First in KP with 84% and return on investment, 1.64. In mid lane, you'll notice um, not a lot written here because we had to dig deep for Group A. Uh, Yagao was the best out of Group A, but he was only third in KDA at 3.8 and gold difference up 438, ranked sixth amongst mid laners. Hai Chao ranked fourth and he was first in KDA, 4.8. Other stats, he was not second or third in, but that was um, better than Knight. Excuse me. In Group C, Cream was the best, and he ranked second cumulatively. Uh, second in CS per minute, 9.5. Return on investment, 1.7. Third in KP, 71.3%. And the best mid laner was Shanks. He led in solo kills like his Anyone's Legends counterparts. Actually, um... In every role, anyone's legend led in solo kills, which is which is something interesting. Um, he had 11. Uh, gold difference, 489. CS difference, I had 11. Second in KDA, 3.8. CS per minute, 9.5. Vision efficiency, 3.42. And third in return on investment, 1.63. Really, when you think about it, um, Sheer, Kanavi, and Shanks are the guys that have the most um, stats to, to mention, and they're clearly... The best, um, well, Sheer wasn't. Bin was better than him. But Kanavi and uh, Shanks clearly are the best in their role right now. Um, keep in mind, in their group, like it's it's in the group, but cumulative, 
strength of schedule definitely plays a role. That's why I have the best um, mentioned in each in each group because they did play, um, you know, their group. Other notables. Uh, rookie was third. So Shanks was in the same group. So Rookie was third and, and therefore second in his group. And then uh, Knight was, um, what do I have here? Fifth behind Hai Chow. So that is a thing. Other notable CS per minute, Knight was first at 9.7. Kill participation, Fofo from Team Wii, 73.8. Return on investment, Rookie, 1.76. And then Vision Efficiency, Knight, 4.64. In the end, Knight was not better than High Chow in the majority of the other categories, which dropped him down to below High Chow in cumulative stats. Bot lane duos. Uh, group A is dominated from start to finish by JDG. So Ruler and Missing were the best. They were the second strongest bot lane duo. First in KDA, 4.4. CS per minute, 11.2. Second in gold difference, had 538. And CS difference, they were third at 5 CS ahead. In group B, it was Elkanon who graded out the best. First in return on investment, 1.35. Gold difference, it had 871 on average. Second in vision efficiency, 2.21. CS difference ahead, 5. Third in KDA at 3.2. Group C, Gala Hung were the strongest. Third overall, first in kill participation at 77.2%, and actually had the best CS difference ahead, 6 on average. Group D, Hope and Cal uh, from Anyone's Legend. Once again, first in solo kills plus 2v2 kills with 9. Third in gold difference, had 528 and technically ranked fifth cumulatively. Fourth place were Jackie Love and Mako, but because they finished lower than Gala and Hung, they're only mentioned in this regard, as well as being the one that refer the duo that was first in vision efficiency with uh, 2.31, which isn't a surprise. That's something that I noticed um, in my videos that Jackie Love and Mako continue to be first in that category. Um, so, first team. For Group A, Sheer, Kanavi, Yagao, Ruler, Missing. No shock. That group honestly looked like it was JDG's to lose. Uh, group B, Bin, Meteor, Haichao, Elkanon. I'm sure a lot of people, if they saw this right now, would be like, oh my god, really? Shun and Knight aren't, aren't, but they aren't. I mean, LGD beat BLG and, and frankly should have beat them the first time. LGD actually played way better than I expected. I figured... That team was an easy fourth, and they came out, and, and hell, they the BLG win is a surprise in and of itself, of course, but the competitiveness and how well the, the bot lane duo is playing, I'm, Jin Zhao all of a sudden alongside this rookie is, is looking decent. Hai Chao has really taken on um, quite, a, quite a role in the team. Um, goes to show you that if you give a guy a leash and, and give him an opportunity to develop, um, anything's possible. I mean, I'm really shocked by that, and... I mean, I said it in my last week's video um, a couple days ago. Uh, so not about last week, but a couple days ago. Meteor, this is his meta. He's a carry-oriented jungler, one of the best in the world, specifically at carry-oriented high-resource jungling. Um, that's not to say he's one of the best in the world overall, but he is in this meta. This is his meta to, to time to shine. Um, and then Group C. 369, TN, Cream, Gala, Hung. And Group D, Shanji, Krako, Shanks, Hope, and Kale. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, become a YouTube supporter. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.